And just getting into the camera shot here, here we go. Uh, this has been a long time coming. I do apologize because I don't have a fancy setup and my camera is over there. And it's almost time. All right, hey gamers, thanks for tuning into uh, Fire Chicken Review, a channel that you may or may not be uh, familiar with. Those of you who are familiar with uh, the channel may be saying, hey, it's a long time no see, haven't seen you in a while. And I just want to get that out and clear the air right away. Uh, the channel has been uh, inactive for a little while, and that's for a few uh, reasons. Uh, the first, of course, is the world posture that's been going on. And uh, because of that, I haven't reached out to as many uh, companies and different uh, groups uh, and whatnot because I didn't feel appropriate at the, the time due to the scope of my channel. It's just uh, I'm not getting paid for any of this stuff, just doing it uh, out of the enjoyment of making these videos and for you guys uh, to see and uh, see what the, the products are out there. And then the second and probably more important one was that uh, recently my family has added a, a new member uh, and uh, introduced uh, a little man that uh, is out with uh, my wife at the, the moment for an appointment. So that's how I'm getting a chance to get this review in. But that's been obviously keeping me uh, quite uh, busy. So I'm a geek and uh, my son is uh, the biggest thing in my life. And for that small little pun intention right now, if you saw the title of the video, is that I'll be reviewing uh, Geek & Sons uh, Megan table that is in front of me, this beautiful uh, table here. And uh, it is a, a great little table. So the history for this is that uh, I've been wanting to get a gaming table for quite some time. And before I knew uh, I was going to be starting a family and whatnot, I was getting very heavy into uh, board games, you know, for that social aspect. And wanted to have a nice spot to play all my games on. So this uh, table is a great little addition that I was looking for. And so I was a big uh, component of going on to Kickstarter and whatnot. And uh, there was a few uh, different tables that I saw uh, looking through at the, the time. And uh, it came down to two uh, different uh, companies and two really nice looking uh, tables. Uh, at the same time that the, the Megan table was on uh, Kickstarter, there was also another table, which I won't mention its uh, name, but it's a very popular table. It did very well. And uh, I, I was torn between which two did I want to get. Now, for those of you wondering, why did I choose one over the other? Well, it came down to a few things. Uh, and uh, the, the biggest thing was that both uh, companies were fairly well known. I knew uh, Geek & Son from a, a little bit of an interesting uh, tidbit was that uh, I play a lot of Fantasy Flight games and I was really big and still am fairly big into the Keyforge uh, community. And uh, actually one of the, the prizes that in the Keyforge community was a smaller uh, table, not the Megan table, but a smaller table that was really high quality. And I remember going to a tournament and uh, seeing the table. And I was like, wow, that, that's a really nice uh, heirloom fancy looking uh, table and I did a little bit of research and I found out that uh, who made the table for uh, FFG for their prize support by um, uh, was Geek & Son actually made uh, the table and then I found out that there were uh, a fairly well established uh, furniture company that makes uh, gaming tables and such and I was like wow that's pretty interesting and then the other table that uh, I don't want to mention just because don't want to mix up of the two but it's fairly uh, big company as well is um, they're also well known and they were in uh, the USA. Uh, so just so the two companies I was looking at at the time, uh, both on Kickstarter, very uh, big. And what it came uh, down to, to be honest, was that uh, I was looking at the dates and how soon would I get my uh, gaming table. Uh, the other company was, it was gonna be about a two year wait, and this is back in uh, September, 2020. Uh, it was gonna be about a two year wait because uh, I'm living in Canada and uh, it was uh, going to be posted with all the other international uh, tables. Uh, so I was like, oh, I don't want to wait uh, two years. That's a little bit long for this expense I'm going to be paying. Uh, so the other company, Geek & Sun, in this case, uh, was only going to be about a year away because it still takes quite some time to make these uh, nice uh, tables. So I chose them. And those are just some of the reasons. There were other reasons. And again, you know, this was a big decision because I could have chosen something within a Canada or just stuck with uh, my uh, dining room uh, table, which was also quite nice. Uh, I've owned it for 10 years and it was time to upgrade uh, to something, though. And so I chose uh, this one, like I was saying. 
So that was uh, the reason. And I, again, I wanted to mention if I, if I, I forget if I mentioned it, was that uh, Geek & Sun is a UK company. So there was going to be a little bit of extra timing uh, to get it across uh, the sea there and here to Canada. And uh, unfortunately, you're seeing this video now. Um, due to COVID, everyone's uh, tables uh, uh, were delayed. The other company I was mentioning, their tables were delayed. Uh, Geek & Sun's tables were delayed. Even uh, some of my friends, uh, uh, I had uh, one friend in particular that also uh, went with a company locally uh, within their province here in Canada uh, that they ordered uh, a gaming table and they actually got their table only two weeks prior to me and that was a company that was in Canada uh, and I wasn't too far away from them but it takes time to make these uh, heirloom custom uh, tables right and then you had the COVID on top of it so I go on the other item I want to cover before I get too much into the details of uh, this table here is that uh, when I reach out to, to Geek & Sun, I, uh, I wanted to make sure that I said, hey, I'm a small time uh, review channel. I'm not big, I'm just a small time. Uh, I don't make any money off of these videos, just doing it uh, for fun. But uh, I really believed in uh, paying for uh, the table and the, the bench that I'm currently sitting on. That's a beautiful bench and the table is great. And uh, I reached out to them and I was like, oh, there's no way they're gonna uh, accept this. But I said, hey, uh, you know, uh, here's my YouTube channel. I do uh, custom tokens mostly. I like to do reviews. I'm really getting into the board game industry uh, with this uh, as a content creator. Would you be interested in throwing in some accessories? And um, Marson from uh, Geek & Sun uh, reached back and he said, oh yeah, sure. So I'll be doing a separate video covering all the different uh, accessories and I, it wasn't just some, it was a large pile of accessories. And I really wanted to make sure that this video uh, was of good uh, quality uh, because yeah, I can't believe how much uh, they gave me. But I'm bringing uh, that up uh, front because my videos are known for being, uh, trying to be unbiased and whatnot. But there, uh, there is, of course, if someone gives you stuff, even if it's not money, uh, there is some bias uh, towards when you're gifted something. The table itself, the bench I paid for, and it was a significant amount. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I wanted to talk about should you get a gaming table or should you just go with your dining room table? I'll talk about that more at the end of uh, this uh, video. But uh, an item is, let's talk about the, the prices. You know, I'm uh, really big into the prices. So I got my uh, sheet here and I just wrote some uh, notes down. So try to have it hidden for the most part, but just some things. So again, I, I bought this table in uh, September in 2020. At the time, the, the retail version of this table, Geek & Sun was saying was about 1650 uh, pounds. And the table that I bought, which is the Megan Large, fits six to eight uh, people. Uh, I would say it can fit uh, six people very comfortably. Eight people will be a little bit tight, but it can fit them uh, comfortably. But this was uh, 1650 retail. They were selling it on their Kickstarter uh, page for 1350 uh, pounds. And all together with uh, shipping and everything, it cost me uh, 2160 pounds. Uh, I can't, I don't have my numbers. I, I was trying to look at my banking uh, statements, but uh, just of today's uh, date, if you were to compare it to Canadian dollars, that's 3,600 Canadian uh, dollars that uh, this table roughly cost me. So this is, I wanted to make sure I, I was spending a good a penny on this. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, I really want uh, this uh, table. And uh, I'm going to tell you, it is a nice heirloom uh, table that I'm very excited about. I've got it uh, about mid-February, so I've had it for a few weeks uh, now, getting some gaming and whatnot. Uh, and it is a great uh, table, but it cost me $3,600. And that was the discounted uh, uh, price, right? Uh, and so that was for the, the table and the bench and the shipping. And of course, when you're shipping it from the UK to Canada, that's a very expensive cost. So breaking it all down, the, the table at the time, again, was 1650 pounds uh, retail. They were selling on the Kickstarter for 1300. Uh, today, if you were to go onto Geek & Sons website uh, and you were looking at the Megan Large table, so this exact same table with the stain and everything, uh, it would cost 2250 pounds. So that's a significant uh, savings that I made, but it's been a year and a half and we had COVID and we had all these things. And of course, that's without any type of uh, discounts. Uh, and it's, it goes down to the bench. The bench cost me 380 pounds uh, on their site, it's 500. Uh, to get the fabric added to the bench uh, cost me another 50, so it was 430 pounds altogether for uh, the bench uh, with uh, the, the fabric on top of it. But that same bench cost 600 pounds if you were to go onto uh, their website. 
And I know I'm uh, blattering on about all these numbers. Hopefully it's not uh, going over too many people's heads. Uh, I'll just go to the end cost. So again, with the shipping, and shipping was a, a large amount, was 430 pounds, so a significant amount, but you're talking about shipping this overseas. This is heavy, solid uh, wood items, and it was well uh, protected, and I'll get into that in a bit. Uh, but it cost me 2160, like I said. This same thing, if you were to go on Geek and Sun, and if you lived in Canada, like myself, would cost you $4,050, uh, 4,050 pounds. Uh, converted into uh, Canadian, that's uh, just over 6,500 uh, Canadian uh, uh, dollars, or for my American friends out there, this would be over fifty-three hundred dollars. Uh, so that's uh, if you were buying it uh, retail, fifty-three hundred U.S. Uh, dollars for this uh, nice table and this bench. So you better be sure that this is something that you want, and that's why I'll be discussing like, hey, is uh, getting a, a gaming table worth it uh, versus uh, getting more games at the end of it, and uh, I'll, I'll have some points about that. Uh, so. That's, uh, those were some of my notes about this. So as far as uh, the shipping, so it took a year and a half to get here, like I said, because of the, the COVID uh, posture and whatnot. Um, as far as it uh, went, uh, Geek and Sun made sure they kept us uh, backers updated uh, and uh, made sure that we were aware of all the status and whatnot. And I had no problems uh, with that. It took a little bit longer. I was still fine. I had a nice table uh, before that. Uh, so when it, it got here, there were some hiccups with the, the, the shipping. Uh, getting into it a little bit because I'm not going to hide anything was that uh, I got a notice uh, just an email notification and a text message saying that hey your product has uh, shipped and uh, it had uh, said hey this is a product from a different company's uh, name so I didn't recognize the name and of course I had my baby who was asleep at the, at the time went downstairs turns out it was uh, my ship product no problem uh, Geek and Sun uh, talked about in one of their updates uh, later on saying that uh, it was because of that and whatnot they had a different gaming name or a different company's name, I should say, uh, for uh, the, the UK and the VAT uh, going on there. Uh, but so that was a little bit of surprise. Nonetheless, took care of that. So when it came, um, originally everything was supposed to be white uh, glove delivery, I, I believe, or the intent was that you could have paid extra, but because I was living in Canada and the COVID uh, posture, they were gonna send their own team and eventually they couldn't do that. So they had to hire different uh, companies. So I believe it was uh, DHL uh, here in Canada that uh, came. Uh, it was a fairly uh, great uh, service. They came, dropped it off. It was in my uh, parking lot because of COVID, they weren't allowed in. And it was also uh, not service they could bring up. And that's one point I wanted to bring up for the shipping is that um, uh, bring it into your house. I, I, I do recommend that um, hopefully that gets uh, worked out so that you, you aren't surprised like I was uh, because this is a, a, a fairly hefty uh, table and you're gonna want to have someone helping you out. And uh, you, you know, like I'm, I'm a fairly strong uh, person, so it wasn't uh, too hard. I had a friend help me bring it inside my house, but this uh, weighs quite a bit. So uh, hopefully in the future, they're able for international uh, people that are buying these uh, tables uh, for, to have some sort of service where they can bring it in for people that aren't comfortable bringing up the stairs, like I had to bring it up. Uh, but I wanted to talk about that. Uh, and the big thing was I, I checked everything and you know, this uh, took a while, it was in uh, cargo ship and uh, a lot of time, a couple months uh, coming in for uh, the delivery. Uh, I checked over all the boxes. There was a, a few uh, dings and dents on the outside of uh, the boxes. But I tell you what, when I, when I opened up the boxes and I wanted to record it, but at the time I had the screaming baby and I was dealing with uh, multiple uh, things at that time. Uh, it was just outside the boxes. Everything was super well protected. Everything was uh, nice and uh, bubble wrapped and like extra, uh, uh, it was just protected. I, I don't have a better way of saying it. Everything was uh, nice and uh, covered and every little piece and every item was individually wrapped. So everything was super secure, no uh, damages whatsoever. So the shipping uh, process, even though a little bit of a pain, brought it up. And then uh, the, the daunting part, uh, assembling uh, the table. Uh, the assembly of the, the table itself uh, wasn't uh, too bad, actually. The, it uh, took about, uh, about an hour to assemble. The only uh, nitpicky item for the assembly of the, the table is that uh, putting in um, the actual legs is the only thing you really have to do for the table. It's just inserting uh, the legs and putting in uh, the bolts in it. Uh, so you'll need like an Allen key and putting in the bolts. But uh, the bottom bolt, uh, it's a little bit, uh, you need smaller fingers to get uh, in there. 
because it's uh, it's a little bit harder, but it's still manageable. I had my wife who has smaller hands than my big old mitts that I have here, and uh, she found it a little bit challenging. But that's just to get it to that comfortable uh, tightness. It still was manageable. Put on the legs and then uh, set it up. So that was the assembling bench. Uh, was fairly straightforward uh, as well. Uh, the instructions that you get for these is just, uh, I can probably show it a little bit later, but the instructions that you get, it's just like those IKEA instructions for those that live in the States or Canada. Uh, it's just that one page showing because it's fairly uh, straightforward. So that was uh, assembly of uh, the table. My thoughts of uh, the, the table itself, now that I've talked about the, that other stuff and got all through it, is that uh, we've had it for a few weeks, so this is my initial thoughts. And uh, I will say that uh, I've had uh, my in-laws come over, I've had uh, friends come over, I had myself and my wife look at it and my baby drooling over it, of course. And uh, they're all like, wow, that is a nice looking uh, table. They love uh, the finish, the, the color of the table. So this is uh, wild oak and it's uh, the stain, this nice uh, like espresso color. Uh, and we chose all the things. And that's the thing with the customization of the table. You get to choose what you want. And uh, we were super excited. So the table itself, it's a nice dining room table. This is great. I'll, I'll be showing, uh, you probably can't see it in the camera, but uh, I'll be taking these off and you'll be able to see inside the table here shortly. Uh, but the table, Everyone's like, wow, that's a nice uh, table that uh, you got. And then they see the inside of the table and they're like, wow. And then they see the accessories and they're like, holy smokes, like there is a lot going on. So my uh, thought process is the initial wow factor is that both my wife and myself said, wow, this is a nice uh, heirloom uh, uh, table. So it comes with a bunch of interesting uh, facts. So uh, these, uh, these here uh, for the outside of the table, these nice wooden slats here uh, help secure so that if you spill anything uh, on your table while it's set up in like the dining room uh, setting, it's uh, able to be spill resistant. Of course, I paid for this table. I will not be showing uh, myself spilling any water. I'm sure my son will spill water at some point or me will spill water at some point uh, a year or two down the road and hopefully it never happens. Uh, but I, I, that's not something I'm, I'm willing to, to show. But um, it's uh, great, and then you see the aluminum uh, rails on the outside. That was the only thing I wasn't 100% uh, sold on, uh, but it's because I just mainly wanted it uh, for the wood. But uh, the aluminum rails, as you can see in the, the camera, it doesn't really stand out, and it's just, it's not distracting in any manner. I, I thought that might have taken away a little bit, but it's not. But enough of me blabbering on the outside of the, the table. Let's actually uh, take a look inside. So I'm gonna step away from uh, the camera so hopefully you guys will be able to see this. So do not mind me as I move around here and take uh, this camera. So underneath uh, this uh, table here, there's a, a little uh, switch here. Let's see if you can see it. So this right here is how you open up uh, the table. So if I put my camera down gently over here and move this, hopefully it doesn't uh, this is all you need to do, and it just comes up like that. And I'm gonna move this out of the way. So give me a few seconds here. Doing this all in one take, so I apologize. But this underneath, you got the gaming uh, table, and it's just nice and easy uh, to take these off. And all I'm doing here, as I'm talking to you guys, is that I'm just gonna be moving this and putting these slats into uh, this little spot over here. That is a nice accessory that uh, came with the, the table that I was super excited about that. And this is one of the accessories that they threw in uh, for free. So very excited about all of that. And let's see, try to get the camera angled. Uh, so I'll just remove a, a few of these here. But as you can see, like easy to take these off. Uh, you know, if you have little ones, I probably wouldn't let uh, your kids uh, move these, but uh, this is pretty straightforward. If you didn't have uh, this, what you would be able to do if, is if you got the, the bench, you would be able to take the bench uh, and store these underneath or inside the bench, I, I should say. And speaking of which, I'm just going to go inside my bench and grab this little piece of wood here. And... 
I'm just going to insert it over here, which you probably can't uh, see too well, but that's fine. You'll be able to see uh, the, the gaming table set up here. And this is uh, what I wanted to show. So uh, that's just a, a wooden slat so you can uh, separate uh, your bench into, uh, sorry, separate your bench, separate uh, the table so that if you want to have the, the inlay of the, the table, you can play with your game here. So this is um, Harry Potter, uh, uh, Death Eaters Rising, which is if you ever played any of the Rising games, very fun little game. And uh, now I could have my game going on. And this is one of the cool functions is I can have this great uh, game underneath uh, my table that no one knows that I'm playing. So when my company leaves, I can go ahead, hit the game back up and uh, you know, cover it up and I can have my, my dining room uh, table. So just taking out uh, half of it at, at the moment to show that uh, this is uh, the way you can have it set up. And let me reset my camera here. Should be able to do this here in a second. And here we go. And I apologize about my grummy fingers. Yeah, so that should be good like that, hopefully. And uh, you know what? Let me lift this up for a second. Let me go back uh, here. So like I said, this is uh, the table. Having it uh, set up, having a game underneath, just uh, fantastic stuff. And uh, it, it's probably going to be hard just because I don't have the best uh, camera angle. So I'll probably just free range this camera, hopefully not make you motion sick. But one of the things about this uh, pro insert that comes, so you can choose uh, the color. I chose uh, blue because I like uh, the color. And one thing that is super cool, and it's just a, these small little details when you're paying for premium and stuff, is that you know that when you have a card and you want to pick it up, you got to pick it up by the edge like so. Uh, when you have it on this table, it's the same stuff like they use for like poker tables and whatnot. I can just put my finger on the edge like that and I can pop it up. So just that easy access to pop it up is something I absolutely love about the, the, the table and whatnot. Being able to put your uh, arms against this uh, rest is also really nice. This function for where the, the actual table uh, slats uh, go in can also double as a card holder. So you can put your cards that you have down on there. So that uh, what I really like is that Oh, maybe I'm facing a, a boss or something and I can just put uh, the cards if I can get down, right? So I can put the cards there or of course you can always have the cards facing your, yourself. So it's just a nice little additional uh, benefit that you can have uh, with uh, that, right? And so for actually sitting down at the, the table, uh, so let me put my camera down here. Hopefully not do any type of damage to it, of course. Uh, but sitting down at the table, it's very comfortable to sit down, get some games in as I slide into uh, my bench. And uh, yeah, so it's nice that I can just put my arms, this rests here, you know, I got uh, pretty chunky arms, nothing too crazy. But uh, this, it's a nice little armrest. This isn't uh, too far down. And you can, um, if you want to, you could get more of these um, slots here so that you can put them underneath uh, the pro insert and allow you to have this uh, lifted up. I only have uh, the one stake, uh, I believe it's called. Uh, but uh, if you had three of these, uh, you could uh, put the, you could lift this up because underneath uh, the table is actually, everything about the table is real wood. Uh, underneath, uh, you would be able to put these down so you could have this uh, lifted if you want. So you could basically create an elevator to allow you to uh, play on a heightened uh, uh, surface. Uh, but as far as uh, the gaming table experience for this, this is super cool. Everyone I show it uh, to, the, they're surprised as I open it up. They like that little magic trick that I showed earlier, just being able to easily pop these on. I love uh, the, the fact that not only is it easy to pop on, you can customize that, hey, I'm gonna play uh, a little bit. Maybe I'm just playing a smaller game like this, so I'm only using half the table, have snacks and whatnot uh, on the other side. Or if I uh, wanted to, I can add some accessories, uh, which I will be showing in my other video talking about the different uh, accessories that you can add. So the, the normal ones that you would expect like uh, cup hold holders, uh, mug holders and such. Uh, but there's some really cool ones. They got some phone chargers and other things. And I'll be ranking these accessories 
talk about what I think of each one. But that is uh, the inside of uh, the table. I love how easy and quick uh, taking uh, dice feels nice. Just rolling the dice against the side of the table, you get that little wood uh, clunking noise. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's a nice table. Like I, I, I review board game uh, products and I can tell you, you know, I'm not, nothing too fancy about uh, tables uh, themselves, but uh, uh, both my wife and myself think this is a nice uh, heirloom uh, table. And uh, like the view that I'm seeing on this side, if you guys can't see it from over there, let me show you, is it's just great. So again, just taking it all in and uh, my notes down here, let me move that. Inside the bench, when I say there's a bunch of accessories and I'll be talking about, it, this is uh, the bench. And again, having uh, the fabric uh, match the actual mat inside is really cool. And one of the interesting features about the bench is that it opens up and you get all these beautiful accessories uh, that are on the inside. So just being able to put in, so this here is uh, like a phone charger and just slap it in there. So not only is it, uh, you can put your phone charger, maybe you don't have your phone, you can take your notes, throw your notes really quickly on there or wherever you want. Uh, you got your acrylic uh, bins, throwing your acrylic bins, you can take all your tokens in here, throw them in there or wherever you need. But like I said, I'll go more into the accessories in my other videos so I don't make this one too long. But yeah, this bench, What's really cool is, and again, everything inside, this is what I'm saying they, they gifted to me uh, for doing uh, the review. Everything inside is all the items so that I paid for the bench, but all the stuff, the cup holders, the mugs, everything uh, was all the accessories that they added on. And I think it's really cool, all the different things. And I absolutely think that if you get the table, if it's in your price point, you should uh, pick up uh, the bench because it is a nice little bench. And definitely get the, the fabric unless you like uh, sitting on the wood. I could sit on this for hours and it, it's super uh, comfortable. Um, some items I wanted to note is that on the inside of the table on one side, you have the, the Geek & Sun a label. As well on the side that I wasn't showing earlier, it, on this side of the table, it also has Geek & Sun. So I hide it because I, I want to hide my geek when uh, my family comes over. So on this side, you'll notice it doesn't have uh, that aspect. Um, but yeah, just hide that little thing uh, because not everyone wants to need to know. So I think it's the company getting their name out, showing that the heirloom item, like I was saying. So you can have a geek on one side, almost like a mullet. Oh, let me fix uh, the camera here. You can be a geek on one side and you can be uh, party in the front or <laughs> work in the front, party in the back, like a mullet type of thing. But anyhow, I, I go on uh, about that. Let me stop rambling uh, for there. As far as the, the gaming experience, the gaming experience is enhanced for me. I can't say if it will be enhanced uh, for you, uh, but if you ever experience uh, being able to go and try gaming table out, I think you will see the enhancement. Not everyone's gonna enjoy being, uh, leaning over and playing stuff, but again, if you get the ability to lift this up so it's not as low, maybe that's for you. And there's nothing stopping you from playing on top of your table either. So maybe you just you're like, hey, this is nice. I'll put stuff in it. But putting stuff down here. So having this Harry Potter game in. So, hey, dinner's happening. It's almost like I'm a huge a video gamer as well. It's almost like uh, having the ability to say, hey, I'm just going to pause, throw these slats on here. And then uh, when I need to play my uh, game again, I'll, I'll be able to do that. Speaking of, of which, uh, the, the, this can hold... Uh, I forget the uh, exact uh, depth, depth uh, I should say, uh, but uh, like having a mini this uh, size, uh, so I won't point directly at you because you know, uh, the one that shall not be uh, named, uh, this won't fit underneath uh, the table, uh, but if you had a smaller mini, most of them probably won't fit uh, upright, but you can uh, place them uh, down like that so that you can pick up the minis. So it just saves you uh, so much time because most of the game uh, set up and if you're like me playing these heavier games sometimes like Gloomhaven takes a while to set up to uh, um, uh, put together tear tear up or not tear up uh, put together or tear down uh, the game uh, can take a lot of time so being able to just pause save the game put this down have your dinner is, is a fantastic uh, little ability 
you know, I'll keep this little man here. And uh, yeah, so the game experience so far has been uh, fantastic.